here we go again. Time for another rambling of the old man here. And when I say that outwardly, it's on the inside, I don't feel like an old man, but that's another issue. I want to briefly discuss what is going on in our country right now. Not just our country, but the world, it appears. Along with everything else, people are now offended by flags, pieces of cloth. They're offended by them. They're offended by statues, which have been there for over 160 years. I mean, they weren't offended during the Obama administration, so why all of a sudden are they offended now? And now they're offended by advertising gimmicks or models. They are offended by Aunt Jemima, who was something which I have eaten a lot in my life growing up and even today. And what's really funny is the people who are offended by this, they should actually do a little bit of research about this. Well, it talks about the lady who image is on Aunt Jemima, who essentially is Aunt Jemima. This lady, the money that she earned doing this, she used to start an anti-poverty campaign. Her great-grandson is now, he is very upset because now they're getting rid of this. I mean, this was part of their heritage that <laughs> their great grandmother did this. Uncle Ben's. Another staple. I mean, where are they going to draw the line? Is Cracker Barrel going to be offensive? They have to change the name to something else? The Saltine Barrel? I mean, what? I mean, it's just ridiculous. All of these little things that people are taking such anger against. And it's like, a thing I saw on social media which I really agree with and it's like you know you can get rid of all the flags and statues and everything out there but nothing's going to change until you take the hate out of your heart I mean if, you, if you're getting upset about these things I mean <laughs> really it, it's just and a lot of stuff is little stuff, which I'm not Southern, even, even though I live in the South. I was not born or raised here. I was born and raised in the great state of Pennsylvania. But I've been living in Nashville, Tennessee for over 25 years, and to me, this is home. If somebody wants to fly the Confederate flag, I'm not offended by it. I know black people who are not offended by it. I recently saw a video, which you can look up, where a, I'll, I'll be politically correct in this, an African-American gentleman wearing a Magda hat was sitting there eating Aunt Mama pancakes with Aunt Mama syrup. And he said, I didn't know racism had a taste. And he's being sarcastic, and it's, 
he says, I've been eating this whole, my whole life, and all I taste is pancakes and syrup. I don't taste rapes in here anywhere. We need to think about things that are important. And I agree with Morgan Freeman when he was being interviewed by Dan Rather and Dan Rather asked him what he thought about Black History Month and he said he didn't like it. And Dan Rather said, well, what do you mean you don't like it? And he said, it's history. There's no black history, there's no white history, it's just history. And then Morgan Freeman says, can I ask what you are? And he says, yes, I'm Jewish. And he says, well, do you want a Jewish history month? And Dan Rather goes, no. To which Morgan Freeman says, exactly. It's just history. He also said, Morgan Freeman also said that if you don't say I'm a black man, I won't call you a white man. But what she meant, if we just see each other as people without looking at the color, we could get along. But unfortunately, I don't think that we'll ever get along until our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes back. But, I mean, we can still make strides toward this, we need to treat everybody as people, as human beings, not put color into it. I mean, where is it going to end? I mean, we've already got to the point where people, obviously a generation, have never been disciplined by their parents because they were given everything from Nintendos and all the other game systems. There's been genera- a generation of kids who've never grown up without a cell phone. When will it end? And I ask you this in all sincerity. What is really important in your life? What do you value? Do you value family? Do you value having a job so you can support your family? Do you value your country? Where you live, where you have the freedom, where you can make all the choices that you have. Do you value the relationship you have with God? I would be interested to see in the comments section what you think. And like any negative type of stuff will be deleted, so don't even try it. But I'm serious, if you have anything positive, that you think that we can improve on, then please let me know.